Tim, we've got the results of our first uh, two competitors. Again, just uh, revisiting those, it was the Stealth uh, versus the Acaso, and the results were? Yeah, so the Acaso is what, a TCO4, probably a three-year-old camera, three-year-old version, and then uh, Stealth holds that one. It's three or four years old. Yeah, so pretty fair comparison. Uh, we used rechargeable batteries in this, so but they're all recently charged. We had them set up for uh, a burst of three pictures. Uh, first deer on, first deer on camera appeared to match up on time. Uh, I'm a little surprised at some of the results, to be honest with you. Yeah, so I think. You know, picture quality during the day, I think the Acaso did better. Um, at night, I think we agree that they're both pretty equal. Yep. Um, you could see, but if you blew them up, you know, it's very pixelated. And, uh, you know, I think you could do it, be good enough for scouting, but uh, you're certainly not going to frame those pictures and you're going to struggle with it, right? I think one, one thing is the Stealth showed some blurriness. So it'll be interesting when we get into the specs of it in the summary, how quick speed. the shutter speed is compared to the Acaso. The Acaso seemed to be pretty good as far as blurriness of pictures. So now the total pictures on the Stealth was what? Do we have 960? Yeah, just a shade under 1,000, 972. 972. Then so 16 hours. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of activity out there. Birds and turkeys and deer, you know, and squirrels and yeah, yeah, everything. Uh, and the Acaso actually shot almost 2100, so 2100 versus 1000, but the big killer for the Acaso was um, at night, it just couldn't regenerate enough power and it would shoot a blank shot. Yeah, frustrating. Uh, and a lot of them in a row after a period of time. So probably the way we set up this test with the Acaso was why it's not going to go into the next round. Um, if we had set it up different with alkaline or lithium batteries, it probably would have made it. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. But this is how we set it up to be equal and reduce some variables. And we use rechargeable batteries, right? Yep. So um, it's kind of real life. But uh, yeah, so the Stealth moves forward, which is surprising to me. I had, I had super low expectations on the Stealth. So I guess if you had to steal saying is if you have super low expectations anything better than that is good right <laughs> but um we'll see i think it's a short-lived victory for the stealth something to build on next season because i don't think it's going to make it pass round two we got a couple of good cameras i think that uh, again you know i think what's interesting is the fact that we're pairing them up against competitors and since we're comparing them you know and under light conditions I think we're we're really seeing truly how they perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least the way perform the way we set them up, right? The sure. Way we use them in real life. Yep. So, you know, that's it. Keep uh, keep tuned, and uh, we've got the other cameras out testing them right now. So we'll we'll be able to revisit that data just like we did these two, and we'll see which one of those uh, comes out the winner to to possibly match up with the stealth. Here. Sounds good. All right. All right. All right, Tim. Here we are. We're still in round one, but we've got two more uh, two more competitors going at it today. So let's talk about those, right? Yep. Uh, from a trail camera standpoint. So what's uh, what's uh, our competitors that we're putting up against each other? Well, we've got a three-year-old Browning, probably one of my better cameras, actually. It does video, does video, uh, takes pictures, can do bursts, can do time-lapse. Really, it's a nice camera. Um, I'm excited to see how it's going to do. Um, I know you can still buy this today. It's probably $75 if you were to buy it. But again, probably one of my better cameras. And you're pretty high on that one. Pretty high on it. It takes six batteries. Batteries seem to last quite a, quite a while, so... Yeah, I'm high on it. 16 megapixels, a lot of functionality. Again, we'll summarize this at the end, right? But uh, a lot of functionality, and you've had really good luck with it. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. And its competitor is going to be the Ape Man. 
Eight Man. What a great name, right? <laughs> I had to buy it just because of the name. But uh, no, I you see them advertised a lot, and uh, I, I feel like I got a great deal on Amazon on this camera. I've only had it for ten days, less than two weeks. Uh, very little experience with it, but um, it does take a full SD card. It is 16 megapixel capable. But now a little nuance with this one, I think, versus the Browning. Again, we'll, we'll wrap this up in the summary is you can only take multi shots, meaning more than one shot at bursts at a time, in five megapixel mode on this one. Five what? what? Five megapixel. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the the monster kicking in. <laughs> Megapixels. So if you wanted to take more than one shot uh, in the highest setting in this one you can't do it. Yeah, it's kind of a weird little interface. Too. It is. Yeah it is. So that's disappointing. So we've got these set up for just single shots. Um, all the other cameras were trying to do multiple shots but um, at least it's a one-to-one -one comparison um, between these two. So it'll be interesting. This is you know you've got some history with this one. You're high on it. This one I don't know much about, um, but the pictures I do have on it um, have been pretty good, and uh, it has pretty good functionality. Yeah. Right, price is right. I think forty. I think I paid forty dollars delivered uh, from Amazon on this thing. Yeah, that's cheap. Yeah. So we'll see where this one falls in. I don't know. You know what's interesting is is uh, as we get into this, the the head to head matchups really start to make you aware of the camera's performance. You put a camera out there all by itself, you, you really have no idea how it's performing, but you start to throw it up against something else and you yeah. start to see the, the difference. Well, and how do you know if you missed a picture if it would never existed to begin with, right? That's so right. I think that's going to be the true tailing difference between these head-to-head -head competitions is, you know, why did in this case, why did the ape man get 20 pictures and the Browning get 10 or vice versa? Yep. I think that's going to, you know, be the telling difference um, at the beginning. So anyway, that's what uh, that's what we're doing today. We'll get these set up and uh, and uh, let them let the battles begin. All right. Look forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.